Welcome! In this video, we'll walk you through how to install the Comma 3X into a Gen 1 Rivian R1T or R1S, unlocking powerful hands-free driver assistance features with OpenPilot. Before we begin, let's go over everything you'll need for a successful install. First up is the Comma 3X device. Make sure it includes the 8-degree windshield mount. This angle is ideal for Rivian's windshield and ensures proper camera alignment. You'll also need the Comma harness, which connects between your Rivian's AXM and the factory wiring. This is what allows OpenPilot to interface with the vehicle safely. A Torx T20 bit is required to remove the passenger footwell panel. It also helps to have a small flathead screwdriver on hand to carefully disconnect the cable from the back of the AXM. It's a tight fit, and a little leverage goes a long way. A plastic trim tool can also help with routing your cables cleanly, and a few zip ties will keep everything organized. If you're not getting consistent 12 volt power from the comma harness, the included optional comma power adapter is a great backup. It connects to the OBD2 port and provides reliable power directly to the comma 3X. And for setup, you'll need internet access during installation. You can use your phone's hotspot, a home Wi-Fi network, or even the Rivian's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. Once you've got your gear ready, let's prep the vehicle for the install. Start by parking your Rivian in a safe, level space with plenty of light. Open the passenger door and locate the panel in the passenger footwell. This footwell cover is what we'll be removing to access the AXM. Keep in mind, Rivian's automatically power down after a few minutes of inactivity. The footwell lighting will also turn off, so don't rely on it while working. We recommend using a flashlight or work light to make things easier to see. With that in mind, grab your Torx T20 screwdriver and let's remove the panel. You'll need to remove the two screws securing the panel in place. Be sure to keep them somewhere safe so you can reattach the panel later. Once the screws are out, gently pull the panel downward. It may take a little force, but be careful, there's a light cable attached to the panel. Before you fully remove the panel, disconnect the light cable by pressing the small tabs on each side. Set the panel aside in a safe spot. You won't need it again until the end of the install. With the panel removed, we now have access to the AXM. This is the brain behind Rivian's driver assistance system. The AXM is located up and towards the front of the footwell. It's a rectangular silver box tucked in tight against the firewall. Focus your attention on the rearmost connector. This is the cable we'll be working with. It's a bit tricky to see at first, but it's located at the back of the AXM, furthest from you. Make sure you're identifying the correct connector. This is the only one we'll be removing. It's a multi-pin plug with a locking tab and it routes directly into the AXM. Once you've found it, it's time to disconnect and prep the comma harness. Use a flathead screwdriver, if needed, to carefully disengage the locking tab and pull the connector free. Take your time, it's a snug fit and you don't want to damage anything. Once the cable is free, gently route it forward toward the front of the footwell so you have more space to work. Now grab your comma harness. First, take the male end of the harness and plug it back into the same port on the AXM where the original cable was. In order to get it to fit back into the space, you can try to bend the cable into a right angle. Then, connect the original Rivian cable to the female end of the comma harness. Double check both connections to make sure they're fully seated and secure. Next, grab the OBD-C cable that comes with the harness and plug it into the USB-C port on the harness box. Route this cable up the passenger A-pillar and toward the windshield area where your Comma 3X will be mounted. Use the trim tools or zip ties if you want a cleaner install, but make sure there's enough slack to reach comfortably. Mount your Comma 3X using the 8-degree mount centered behind the rear view mirror. Connect the OBD-C cable into the back of the Comma 3X. It should automatically power on with the Rivian. Before continuing, we recommend doing a hard reboot of the Rivian. Simply hold down the leftmost button on the steering wheel, as well as the hazard light button, until the car begins to reboot. This can help clear any temporary error messages after reconnecting the AXM. With the hardware fully connected, it's time to install OpenPilot on your Comma 3X. Make sure the device is connected to the internet, then install OpenPilot. Allow the device to install the software and begin calibration. This usually takes a few minutes of driving. Once calibrated, you'll be able to engage OpenPilot by tapping down on the drive stock when you're driving 20 miles per hour or above. And that's it! You've successfully installed the Comma 3X in your Gen 1 Rivian and activated hands-free driver assistance with OpenPilot. Always remember, this is a driver assistance system, not a replacement for paying attention. Keep your hands nearby and your eyes on the road. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe for future updates, and check out the description for support links and resources. And if you want help, live feedback, 
or to connect with the comma.ai community, join the comma.ai Discord. Thanks for watching and enjoy the drive.